Welcome in the 20th episode. Today we will implement the square data class which will hold the color of our squares and we will replace the color based on the scores we currently have. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future episode I release. Ok, so let's get started. So let's first of all open our project. Let's go to the scene and open the game scene. So now let's go to our scripts folder. Let's go to the scriptable objects folder and now let's right click create C sharp script and we will create the square texture data. Ok, let's open this class. So let's first of all remove the start and the update function because we won't need it. Next let's inherit instead of from mono behavior we will inherit from the scriptable objects and then right at, at the top of this class let's add two attributes the first one will be create asset menu and the other one will be system dot serializable okay so inside this class we will create another class so public public class and I will call it texture data So this class will have two public variables. So first one will be public and this will be sprite and now we call it texture and we will need another public field which will represent the color of the square but in order to do that we will have to create another enum. So let's quickly switch back to unity and we will have to create one more one more script so go to the scripts folder and then right at the bottom I will right click create C sharp script and I will call the script config okay let's open this config script and then let's remove the start and the update method and inside the script we will create the enum class so public enum and I will call this enum square color. Okay. And now we will create the color for every single square we have. So if you go back to Unity and go to our graphics and then squares, you will see all of the colors which we have. So we're going to create one enum to represent every single color. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go back to our scripts and then config and then let's start adding the colors in so the first value will be not set next one will be red then blue orange then mint yellow green pink and the last one will be purple okay let's put the semicolon and now let's save everything and now we can go back to our square texture data class and we can carry on with our texture data implementation so I will put one more public field inside this class, so public and this is going to be the config dot square color, so the enum we just created and I will call it square color. Okay, and then let's add one more attribute above this texture data class. So you have to add the system dot serializable so make sure you add this one in otherwise you won't be able to select the enum inside your editor okay so let's, right below this class we want to create the threshold value so public int and it's going to be the threshold okay 
and then another one will be private const int start threshold value will be equal to 100 okay so the threshold let's actually set the first one to be equal to 10 so the threshold value is the value which we will use to switch the colors so when the threshold reach when the when our scores reach the threshold we're going to switch to another color so we see, you will see how this works in a second so right below let's add another public and this is going to be the config dot square color and this is going to be the current color and then one more will be private config dot square color and this is going to be our next color okay so now let's add some functions to this class so the first function will be to get actually the current color which we have the index uh, of the current color so let's put private int and this is going to be the cur get current color index okay let's put var current index will be equal to zero and then let's loop through the all of the colors so for index and index need to be less than the than the list but we don't didn't create the list yet so before we carry on with this for loop let's quickly add one more variable so right below the start threshold value i will add public and this is going to be the list of the texture data so of this class okay and i will call it active square data okay so this list will hold all of the data for our squares so now we, we can go back to our to our function and then inside the for loop we want to loop until we reach the active text square textures dot count okay and then inside this loop we're going to check if our active square textures at index dot square color is equal to current color make sure you put double equal sign so if it is then current index will be equal to index and then right below this for loop let's return current index okay so this is very simple function now below this function let's add another one so let's put public void and this is going to be the update color and then integer current score okay so we're going to update the square colors based on our current scores which we have so current color will be equal to next color so first of all we're gonna get our next color then var current color index will be equal to get current color index and then if our current color index is equal to active textures dot count minus one so if we are on the last color so in our case that's gonna be the purple we wanna go back to the first one okay so we will put the next color will be equal to active square textures at zero dot square color 
and then else the next color will be equal to active square textures at current color index plus one dot square color okay so we're gonna just set our next color and then threshold value will be equal to start threshold value plus current score okay so this is the function is gonna just loop through all of this all of the data and then set the next color and update the threshold value so there is one more function we need to put so public void and this is going to be the set start color and inside this function we're going to set our threshold threshold value to be equal to start threshold value then current color will be equal to active square textures at zero dot square color and then next color will be equal to active square textures at one dot square color okay and then we need to call this function from somewhere it's because this class is inherited from the scriptable objects so by default the scriptable object we'll call the awake and then on enable function so private void awake so this function will be called by unity and let's put inside this function start set start color and then right below i will put private dot private void on enable so inside the on enable we're gonna call the same function so I will just call this function twice and then let's save everything now we can go back to unity and now let's go to the resources folder and inside the resources if you right click you can go to the create and now you should have the square texture data available right at the top so I will just select it and then we we go, I'm gonna call it active square texture data active square texture data so let me just change the, the view okay so let's uh, let's see what we have so we have our threshold value set to 100 because we set this value in on awake function and let's actually lock this inspector and let's switch to our graphics and then squares and let's see how many colors we have so we have one two three four five six seven eight colors so let's put the size of this list to be eight and then the first element will be the blue so the first color i want to have is the blue color and from the square color let's set the blue enum so the next element i will set it to orange you can put in completely different order it doesn't really matter just make sure the the square color enum matches the color of the picture so you're not gonna get confused so the third color i will put the navy blue so let's drag it and the navy blue will be mint then yellow let's put another one to be green let's put next one to be pink and then the the, the purple one so is violet and then purple from the list so actually we have the seven elements so let's change this to be seven okay so we have all of the colors set and now we need to set our current color so i want to start from the color blue 
Okay, so while we set the current color to be the first one on the list. And now we can save everything, so file, save. Okay, so now let's make use of this of this uh, data we, we just created. So let's unlock this inspector and then let's go to our scripts and let's open the game and let's open the score script. So inside the script we want to update our co our, the, the, the color of the squares based, based on the scores. So let's first of all go right at the top and I will add one more public variable, so public square texture data and I will call it square texture data So this variable will be set from the inspector, from the editor. So let's let's make use of this variable now. So inside our start method, before we update score text, I will call the square texture data dot set start color, and then let's go scroll right scroll right at the bottom, and then below the add score function. I will create one more function. So private void and this function will be called update square color. So let's put the F statement. So if our current scores is more or equal then the square texture data dot threshold value we want to call our square texture data dot update colors and we want to pass our current scores okay and let's call this function update square colors from our add scores function and we want to call it before we call the event update best score. Okay, so make sure you have everything like me on the screen. So make sure you have this function implemented and then you call this function from here. So let's save everything and let's actually check our changes. So I'm going to go back to Unity and then let's go to the canvas. Let's go to the score window and then as you see inside our score script we have additional field square texture data so i will go to to the resources and i will grab the scriptable objects the active square texture data and drop it here so make sure this field is initialized inside the score script okay so once you initialize this value let's press play and make sure everything works as it was before so everything is fine. So we have successfully implemented the data structure to hold all of the squares and then we're going to trigger it. We're going to change the square colors based on the points we reach in the game. So for the threshold you set here, we're going to change the color of the squares. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to actually make use of this data and we're going to implement the event to update the colors for every single square and every single shape which appears down below. So I hope you didn't have any issue with implementing this. If you do, please leave me a comment below this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.